is there anyone here who is pointing to have a content-rich website? And what I mean by content-rich, to have more than 100 articles. OK. So you, OK, so in your case, we can go over it during uh, the I would break. say more like 500 articles is where I'd go into more More like them. 500. Like, where you're probably like a blogger or like a news website kind yeah. of thing. So then um, we can go over it. But it's, it's pretty simple. You just click New in the sections. You create another section. Mm -hmm. that, that's all there is to it. OK, so we said that everyone understands right now section. Oh, I, just, I, I have three tabs now. I have the admin tab, the student tab, and the name of my company tab. Um, I'm somehow confusing um, section manager with menus. I went in and okay. changed section manager to have um, the structure, I guess, I was trying to refer to. But now when I go to the website, I'm not seeing that where it still says home products and services. Okay. I'm going to do that on menu. That's right, so, so good question. And hold on that for one moment. OK, so we said we're going to make sure everyone's on the same page. We all have, we have sections. And as you know, sections are not directly related to what you see on your home page. It's not, it's not a correlated, the menu structure that you see is not the sections that you put it together. Sometimes people get confused. They think, I created these sections, and why aren't they showing up now? You know, home, product, services, et cetera. There's no direct relationship between those two things. You haven't taught us how to put the menu. Right, I have not taught you how to do anything with menus. Um, the, Sections, think of it as a filing cabinet. Like this, the filing cabinet, I guess, is the section. The, the folders are categories, and the articles are the things you stick in the folders. It's basically organizational. OK? That's what sections and categories are. So we said you have a section, you have categories. Is everyone clear so far on sections and categories? And then you have articles. OK. So then what we did is we went in and we changed the site title which I think is what confused some people, because to do that, we actually went into menus, and we haven't talked about menus yet. Okay? Um, like I said, it's a one-time thing, basically, where you go in to your main menu, go into your home item, and you change the title of the whole website. Yes? If you had a second section, mm -hmm. if, if, say, you wanted to do, like, playgrounds, mm -hmm. um, would that show as a separate tab on the page? On the, home, on, on the front end? Yeah. No. There's no correlation, direct correlation, between what you have here and what you have here. Notice how right, the only section we have is called Zacchio Properties. But on here, there's no menu item that says Zacchio Properties. There's no correlation between them. This is an important point, and it's easy to get confused on this. Okay, Just think, think of the filing cabinet, and don't, don't worry too much about the menus right now. Okay, So that's, we really should talk about menus. Does everyone want to talk about menus? Are you all excited about menus? Yes. yes. I, I see a lot of excitement about them. Diane, you're into menus, right? OK, very good. So if we go to menus, you will see there is only one menu on this website. You can have multiple menus on a website, but this website only has one menu, and it's called main menu. OK? There are three items, menu items, in the main menu. Home, products, and services. We already peeked inside of home when we changed the site title. And this, the home shows you all the articles that are published on the front page. Right now, you should have two articles published on the front page. Okay. Um, products goes to another article, and so does services. But menu items can go to more things than just articles. A menu item can go to a component. For example, we might have a menu item here that says photo gallery. And instead of saying article here, it might say photo gallery, which we said was the name of our photo gallery extension. A menu item can go to a form. This might say form, and this might say forum. And on the front end, that's what you would see. You would see these menu items. And when you click on them, it would bring you either to the article or to the extension. Does that make sense? OK, so what are, the, what, what are some of the things you could have as a menu item? Sarah? Yeah, so you could have an article. What else could you have as a menu item? You could have a video gallery as a menu item. Diane, what else could you have as a menu item? Yes, exactly. So this is clear. You can have menu items that go to articles. You can have menu items that go to extensions. You can also have menu items that go to a collection of articles, what we call a blog layout, which is basically where it shows, let's say, all the articles in a category on one page. Okay? And that's convenient sometimes. Let's say if you wanted to do a blog. Say, I want all the articles in my blog category to show up on this one page, or at least the first five articles. And they'll show up. And you can even have read more links where you go to the full article. Okay? So that's a blog layout. So there's a lot of options. And we're going to see what those options are in a second, because we're going to click on New. Okay, And we're creating a new menu item. 
And what this shows you here is the list of all the things that you can link to in your menu. Now, this list is going to be different depending on what extensions you have installed. OK? One way to think about it, now we're thinking of various content features or content, uh, content you will have on your website. So a menu can, li can link to text, one article, and menu can link to calendar, and calendar by itself is a piece of content, right? And then a menu can link to pictures, and pictures are not text, and picture could be embedded in text in the first time part of it, right, that we just went with text. And then pictures as a gallery could be a content of its own. So we are now linking our menus to various types of content and are organizing. That's why it's a content management system. So later on, if you decide that uh, pictures are more important for your users, you can bring pictures closer to the left, you know, closer to home. If you think that pictures are kind of whatever secondary, you can move them to a secondary menu or something like that. So now we are organizing all this content that we potentially can have on, on your website. And it's naturally like you start walking it slowly and then you start running. Originally we will work just with articles for the next few minutes and make sure that you're comfortable with that and then we'll move to the next content client or content type. Does that make sense? And, um. Okay, so these are, the, these are the options we have. These are things that we can create a menu item link to from whatever. Okay, so if you click on articles, you'll see that this kind of expands. And you'll see this long list. Um, but usually what you're linking to is called article layout. That shows a single article. That's the most useful thing, often. Okay. So if you click on article layout, you need a title. The title in this case is the title of your menu item. This is what's going to show up on the front end in the actual menu. This means that you should not have a title with five words in it because the menu is going to stretch all the way across just for those words. Okay? You want to have a reasonable size menu item. But is that only true because we have a horizontal menu? Yes. And if you had a vertical menu, yes, you it could, be, could be longer. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, I just fell behind again. I have this whole list. Yeah, oh, click on right. articles and then click on article layout. Okay. And you're going to get to this screen. And you're going to put in a title. Now, here's the thing about Joomla. In order to link to an article, you have to have already written the article. So you can't go to the menu and create menu links to things that do not exist. It will not let you. So we're going to choose one of the articles we already have here. So, so that's why we started there. I mean, otherwise, I would, we can logically set the top and move to it down, but you've got to go to the lower level. Yeah, the if you don't have rate. anything to link to, menus are just not so much fun. So you're going to put in the title of your menu item. And make this a real title, even though you're not linking it to the real article at the moment. Dan, are you OK? You're good with this? Oh, yeah. OK. I'm Sometimes you have this like, doubtful look, and I just want to make sure we're, we're good. OK. So everyone has a title. And then you have to select an article. Click on Select. And it's going to give you a list of articles to choose from. We only have four. So you have to choose one of these. So, just so on the right-hand side, it says Parameters Basic. And then you see Select right here. And you have to choose one of these. You don't have a choice. And because we're, we're, this is your site on here, too, what, what do you want the first menu item to be that we're making here? Home. Well, we already have a home page. Oh. So do, what, what else do you want? Amenities. OK, right. OK, and then click on Save. Does every, has everyone created a menu item linking to an article? Um, yes. I'm not familiar with like those edges. Like the main level and the sub levels, <laughs> but this is uh, this link when it says the title, it's, it's only going to be like the actual. Mm -hmm. what click on to go directly to the article. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now if you go back to your front end and you refresh, you should have four menu items. Does everyone have four menu items?